Uh, Red Sox catcher David Ross with us tonight. Y you look at the two different ways that, that the Nats and the A's get into the playoffs. One of them really just rolling through. And the other one, it came down to the final day. They needed to win to get in. What's the impact on how you get in in terms of how far you can go, David? Well, I think momentum is a big thing. You know, I'm, I'm a, I, li I like both. I, I don't know which one I'd pick. But uh, I definitely, the, the confidence is, 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 a, is a factor for me. You talk about some of those old teammates. Uh, John Lester, he will get the start for the A's against the Royals tomorrow night. And confidence against the Royals is something that he knows because career-wise, he has been tremendous against them. What makes him so good in terms of his approach, David? You know, he, he's able to establish his fastball. To Brings in that confidence that you said you're such good. a big believer in. Uh, let's transition to the day yesterday. Uh, really a memorable one at Fenway Park. And one that you really wanted to be on the field for with Derek Jeter playing in his final game. What, what did it mean to you? Yeah, it was really cool. It was really neat. I, I actually asked our, our manager, John Farrell, to if I could catch that last game, and, and uh, he showed me a lot of ring. Uh, I even got a, my, my catching helmet from, he signed for me, so it was nice. It was a little, little treat. What does it say like that? I mean, you have everyone in the dugouts, all the players out there, you know, taking pictures and watching everything. What, do, what does that say about the guys who play this game, like yourself, to have a day like that? We're fans, too. You know, like, I'm a, I'm a huge, you know, you know, baseball fan, and, and you have to... This thing to MJ since MJ stopped playing. In some categories, Kobe's already surpassed Jordan. He has 16 all-star appearances compared to Jordan's 14. This season, Kobe could pass Jordan when it comes to career points. He needs 593, some quick math there, on what it calls to moving into third place all time, trailing only Kareem and Karl Malone. But the stat that speaks louder than all the others, well, that is the one where Kobe is unlikely to pass Jordan. Kobe needs one more championship to match Jordan's six titles. A frustrating loss to the Broncos and then the inevitable comparisons to Peyton. He's likely never going to shake. But four games into the season, Luck is really in a class by himself because nobody in the NFL has more passing yards, completions, or touchdowns than the current quarterback of the Colts. And not even the former one ever threw 13 touchdowns through four games. The best Peyton ever had through four was... 11 there and it's not luck it's strictly talent number 12's numbers in that department may be completely immeasurable open book during his press conferences but it's clear the next chapter in patriots history is nowhere near being written the only thing that could elicit a chuckle from the coach after a loss to kansas city albeit a sarcastic one was when a reporter asked if it was time to evaluate the quarterback position belichick never directly answered that question but his response said it all tom brady isn't going anywhere and one bad game's not going to change that. But the concerns about the Patriots' offense, those are real, and those are valid, and Tom Brady is sugarcoating nothing. He addressed those issues this morning. What did Chuck Pagano say? Smart and savvy? All brilliant? Does that yeah, sound like more? It sounds, it, sounds, it, sounds, it sounds like you, Edward. So tell us something about this Giants offense. Well, I talked to Victor Cruz, and he said what they've done the last two weeks is very... I'm worried more. I would, I would surmise. Oh, I think uh, that's exactly the way he is. I think what he'd really like is for Darren Marius Thomas to step up and be stage. Looking forward to seeing how Todd Bowles, the D corner, puts together this game plan. It's not about the sacks. Can he get Peyton Manning off his spot? And again, yeah. it sounds like Carson Palmer's not going to play in that game. All right, that sums it up. NFL Live, another full hour of NFL news coming your way. Trey Wingo takes over right now. See you tomorrow.